Okay, so let's continue now. We are talking about vectors. Okay, in the previous video, we, we came up with the formulas on how to come up with uh, the x component. And we said that if for us to find the x component, if we maybe we have got a vector a. So we say that if this vector a is supposed to be, if we want to find the x component, it's going to be vector a cos theta. Then the y component is going to be the a sin theta. Then we say that if we want to find the, the the direction, which is the theta, the angle. So it's tan theta is going to be equal to ay divided by ax. Then theta is going to be equal to tan inverse ay ax. Okay, so this is the basic idea which we have to understand under vectors. Okay, now, um, let's say we want to, um, we have a vector. So, first of all, we want first to talk about the angles. How can you choose the angle? So, let's have our xy plane. Okay, here is our xy plane. Okay, so here is our xy plane. Then let's say we have a vector. Let's have vector a. Okay, that is our vector a. Now, maybe we have been given the angle to say this angle here is 20 degrees. To resolve vector a into x and y, the angle which we are going to use is going to be the 20. So as long as we are talking about the vectors, we are measuring the angles from positive x axis. So this is negative, this is negative y, this is positive y. So to get the angle which you are supposed to use when, when plugging in the values here to say this is going to be cos. So this theta is going to be, we are getting the angle from this line all the way until it touches the vector. So this line all the way until it touches the vector is 20, meaning that 20 is going to be the angle which you are going to use. Okay, and let's say that we have a vector where the angle is here. We have the vector there, then we have got our angle here, 20 degrees. So which angle are we going to use for us to resolve this vector? Remember, we are getting the angle from positive x until it touches the vector. Meaning that from this point here all the way to this line, it is 90. So we're supposed to say 90 minus 20, which is going to be 70. Meaning that the angle which is going to be here is going to be 70 degrees. Okay, now let's let's have different things. Let's have uh, a different thing. Let's say we have um, the angle, a vector which is somewhere there. Okay, then we have been given that here is 40 degrees. So to resolve this vector into x and y component, we are supposed to get the angle. The angle which we are going to use is supposed to come from this line until it touches that line. Okay, so we know that from this line all the way to this line, it is 180. Okay, so we're going to say that 180, 180 minus 40. Okay, so the answer is going to be 140. So the angle which we're going to use is going to be 140. Now, let's say we have the angle here. Let's say the angle is here. We have vector A. Then here is the angle. The angle there is 20 degrees. So we know that for us to resolve this vector, it's supposed to come from this line until it touches this line. So we know that from this line all the way to this line, it is 90. So 90 plus 20 is supposed to be 110. Okay. Then let's say we have another vector which is lying in third quadrant. So let's say the vector is here. This is vector B. We want to resolve vector B into X and Y component, and let's say that the angle which is here is um, is uh, 30 degrees. Remember, we want to get the angle from this line, okay, from this line all the way until it touches this line. So we know that from this line here, all the way to this line is 180. So 180 plus 30 is going to give us what? Um, it's going to give us 210. Okay, so that one you have to know. Now let's say we have another another thing which is here. Let's say the angle is here. Here is the 30. So we have the 30 degrees there. 
and then we want to get the angle which is going to help us to resolve this vector into x and y component getting the angle from this point all the way until it touches this line we know that from this point all the way to this line is 180 then we know that from this point all the way to this point is 90 so we're going to say 90 minus 30 which is going to be 60 meaning this part is 60 so it's going to be 118 plus 60 degrees so it's going to be 180 plus 60 is going to be 240. So the angle which we are going to use is going to be 240 degrees. Let's now go to fourth quadrant. We we'll see what we are going to be having. Okay, so let's say we have let's say we have the angle which is going to be here. Okay. Then we want to get the angle. Let's say this angle is 30, 20 degrees. Let's just say 20. So we know that to resolve this vector into x and y component, the angle is supposed to come from positive x axis. So we are measuring the angle and clockwise. They are going in this direction and not clockwise. The moment when you go to clockwise, meaning you are, you are talking about negative angles now. So we are starting from this line until all the way it touches this line. So we know that this point here is 270. We know that this is 90, this is 0, this is 180. This is 270. Then again, when we reach at this point from here all the way to this line again, it's going to be 360. Okay? So if a vector is um is in fourth quadrant, and then we have been given the angle, this is going to be 270 plus 20, which is going to be 290. Now, if you have been given the angle here, let's say the angle is uh, is here. Uh, 20 let's say 30 so we're getting the line from here all the way until it touches there so it's supposed to be we know that the, the full circle is 360 it's going to be 360 minus 30 which is going to be 330 so that's how we get the angles actually very very important you have to know that okay now from here we need to let's also talk about um, something else the same thing but a different one we have the xy plane. Here is our xy plane. Now, as we we are saying that we are measuring the angles from positive x axis. This is positive. This is negative. X. This is um, negative y. Okay. This is positive y. So what we have to understand is that when you have been told that a vector is lying toward the positive x-axis or this is the same as east this is west this is south or this is north this is south if a vector is going toward the positive x-axis meaning it is going toward east sometimes they might tell you to say a vector is going toward east or a vector is moving in positive x-axis okay whenever you see that is positive x-axis meaning that vector is in this line that vector is in this line and that vector the angle is zero so the angle is zero when the vector lies in positive x direction then when a vector is in uh, to, is going towards positive y direction or north the angle is 90 so here is zero here is 90 here is 0, here is 90, here is 180, here is uh, 270. So if a vector is going toward positive, negative x-axis or west, the angle is uh, 180. If the vector is going toward south or toward negative y direction, the angle is uh, 270. That one you have to know. Okay, very, very important. Now from here let's talk about um, let's talk about the terms which they use in vectors. So in vectors you are going to find that you are going to come across these terms. So we are saying that this is um, north, this is south, this is east, this is west. 
Now the terms, we, the first terms which we're going to come across is um, uh, north. Ve maybe you have got vector A, which is going north of east. North of west. South of west. South of east. South of uh, west. Sometimes it might be east of south. Yeah, it's the same thing. East of south. So now, whenever we are talking about this, let's say we have got the angle, we have got vector A, which is um, vector A is um, 20 meters at an angle of 40 degrees. Now they are saying that it is north of east. What it means is that this angle is near east than north. So if we if we check here, we have got north and east. Meaning this 40 degrees is near north than east. So meaning that the, here is the angle. It's going to be like somewhere there. So here is our 40 degrees. This 40 degrees is supposed to be near. Just a minute. This 40 degrees is supposed to be near east than south than north. So it is near to the last part than the first part. So this 40 is going to be here. Meaning when resolving this vector into x and y component, I'm going to use the same angle, which is going to be 40. Because we are measuring the angles from positive x axis. So it's going to come here until it touches the vector. Okay, now let's say we have the same one. Now it is north of west. Meaning that the angle is near west than north. Meaning that the angle is here. Is here. This 40 is here. So to resolve this vector, we are going to get the angle from this point all the way to this line. Meaning it's supposed to be 180 minus 40. Which is going to be 140. Okay, then we have south of east. So as long as you see of north of east, south of east, north of what, what. So the last part, meaning that the, the, that angle is near to the last part than the first part. Okay, so let's say we have a vector A, which is with 20 meters at an angle 40 degrees south of east. South of east, meaning this is the... The angle is near east than south, so here is going to be our angle. But when resolving this, the angle is supposed to come from this line here all the way until it touches the vector. So it's going to be 360 minus the 40 degrees. That is very, very important, guys. Okay, now let's say we have, um, we have this. Let's have just a different one, just a bit different one. Let's get to have a different one. Let's say we have um, let's say we have this is north, south, east, west. So we have the angle which is um, twenty degrees west of north. The angle is near north than west, meaning this 20 degrees is here. Here is the 20 degrees. It has to be near north than west. So when resolving this angle, I'm supposed to get the angle from this line until it touches that line. So meaning from this line to this line is 90, 90 plus 20. So it's going to be um, 110. That you have to know. Okay. So the angle is near to the last part than the first part. Now, let's say you have been told that you have vector A. You have vector A, which is 20, 30 degrees clockwise. Clockwise, I'm saying that the angles on vectors, we are measuring them and clockwise. They are supposed to go in this direction. Whenever you see clockwise, meaning the angle they have measured it using in that direction, meaning it is going toward negative. Meaning that angle is starting from here until somewhere there. That will be our what? That will be our 30. So to get the angle which we are going to resolve this, it's going to start from this line until it touches this line. It's going to be 360 minus 
minus 30 or you can even put you can just say this is going to have a negative which is going to be the same if you plug in um let's say we have 20 the 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 the, the magnitude is 20 20 cos 330 degrees and 20 cos negative if you put negative since it's going in opposite direction negative 30 we are going to get the same answer but i encourage you using this okay so that is very very important now next let's talk about um the second terms which we are going to come across so we have our x y plane okay so here is our x y plane let's 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 continue we have the north we have the north we have the south we have the east we have the west now here is the issue guys uh you are going to come across some certain terms they are going to tell you that we have angle the vector a which is 20 meters no they are going they're not going to give you the angle but they're going to tell you that it is lying north east sometimes they can say north west sometimes they can say south east then they can say southwest so as long as there is nothing in between here meaning that eh, that angle is in between so this angle it is 20 degrees this 20 degrees is in between north and east so the angle is going to be this vector is lying here it's going to be between so you know that here is 90 so what uh, what number is between 90 meaning this part is 45 this is 45 to resolve this angle in this uh this vector into x and y component we are going to get the angle from this line until it touches that line so it's going to be 45 now let's talk about north we are talking about north of north northwest so northwest meaning the angle is here so it's going to be both 45 45 45 45 but we know that to resolve this angle we are supposed to get the angle from this to resolve this vector we are supposed to get the angle from positive x axis until it touches the vector simple right yeah so it touches the vector then we are going to see that eh, it's going to be 90 plus 45 just like that let's go to the next one we are talking about now is southeast so southeast is going to be southeast is going to be in between here so we have 45 45 the angle is going to be from this line it touches this line 180 we know that from here to the 180 180 plus 45 that will be the angle to use okay now next we are talking about um we're talking about uh southwest southwest is going to be uh oh this was southeast which was supposed to be here so this is 45 this is 45 this was southeast i made a mistake i talked about southwest instead of southeast so southeast is what we have there so it's going to be from this line all the way until there so it's going to be 270 plus 45 which is going to be the same even if you say 360 minus 45 it's the same thing okay so southeast is southwest i've already explained is in this one 45 45 you get the angle there so that is the basic idea behind vectors it's very very important for you to know how to get the angle which angle are we going to use to resolve this vector into x and y component very very important next lesson we are going to talk about how to know to say this angle falls in this quadrant this quadrant this quadrant and how to get the angle and how to represent them and also how to sketch the vectors Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next lesson.